Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Sunday Reset Marathon. If you don't know what a marathon is, it's where I compile a lot of videos that I've already posted on my channel into one super long video. So it's going to have a lot of cleaning motivation, a lot of restocking, grocery hauls. I usually don't like to do marathons. I like to keep my content fresh and have new videos weekly. However, the day you're watching this, we just got back from vacation the day before or two days before and I have not had time to film or anything like that to get a new video up for you guys this week. So hopefully you guys can get some motivation today out of this marathon. Maybe you can pop it on your TV. I know I like to do that with marathon videos. I'll pop them on my TV while I get stuff done around the house but I wanted to hop on here and kind of explain why today's video is a marathon but no worries I will see you guys next week with some new content so let's go ahead and get into this super long Sunday reset Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today I'm sharing some Sunday reset motivation with you guys. We are starting out with my groceries for the week. That's always something that I like to do on my reset days. I like to make sure that we have our groceries for the week ahead. I am voicing this over because the kids were watching a movie which is what allowed me to film in the first place. So yeah. Um, we were due for a restock of laundry products, so I got this big thing of Arm & Hammer and some more of the Downy Unstoppables. I went ahead and got two so that I could fill my jar back up for the month. Um, my kids are obsessed with pizza rolls, so I got a big bag of those. Some more of the cookie dip cones we've been loving. They are seriously addicting. By the way, excuse the laundry pile in the back there on the floor. We had it all sorted out to be washed. Um, so that's what that is. But I grabbed us some of these stuffed marshmallows to do s'mores with. Um, some more of the kids' pop tarts. One strawberry, one chocolate. I went ahead this week and got us a salad kit to go with the dinners and basically anything that we need lettuce for. I just felt like this week having it pre-chopped so that it's ready to go. Another jar of Nutella, four boxes of macaroni and cheese. Um, this is an easy lunch for the kids. It's usually what they pick when I ask them what they want. So four boxes of that, some graham crackers for our s'mores, and then back here in the back, I restocked us on disinfecting wipes. I like to have these on hand for easy cleanups, but also especially when the kids are sick. I got another block of mozzarella. We will shred that up and have it for various things. I got us some more strawberries and grapes. My kids don't like a lot of fruit. They are super picky eaters, but they like these two things for sure. So I try to get those every week. I got us another pack of our smoky sausages. We always keep a pack or two of these in the freezer. Baby bills for snacking. The kids really like vanilla yogurt and fruit for breakfast. So I got another container of that. I needed some more of my sugar-free creamer. I've been liking this French vanilla lately, and I'll add a little mocha skinny syrup to my coffee. It's perfection. Some more bananas, and then back here in the back, I got some of this white crayon strawberry juice, our Milo's tea, and of course, more milk. And then back here in the back, Ray needed some more pull-ups, so I grabbed these Pampers Easy Ups. We are currently working on potty training, so Hopefully soon I won't have to buy these anymore, which is also kind of sad to say at the same time since she's my last baby. I got this big box of goldfish. I had actually already opened them because like I said, the kids were watching a movie and yeah, it was keeping them occupied. Um, but I am going to portion these out because my six-year-old loves goldfish and he'll eat this entire box in a day. So I have to portion those out. Another case of water. We've been going through a lot of this lately. We've been having some pretty hot days. Um, some Coke Zero because I needed to 
take a break from the Mountain Dew, just a little switch up. And then lastly, I got a box of assorted chips and a big thing of Kool-Aid jammers. So we've got some days coming up where we're going to be going to the beach and the pool. Um, and these will be easy snacks to throw in the bag. But that's all of my groceries. I'm going to go ahead and get all of this put away. Fill my scent beads real quick. And then we're going to get my bed sheets into the wash. I needed to start in my room today because it was getting close to Ray's nap time. And I wanted to go ahead and knock out what needed to be done in there. So that she could take her nap uninterrupted. Back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome i will not let us fade away it's not a price i want to pay and it's not too late no we lost our purpose chasing all that surplus you were all that i need i feel that we can break free we can still go back there to a place with no going to run the vacuum real quick. I had the Yeedy running, um, which is our robot vacuum. It comes in here as well, but as I said before, it was time for Ray's nap. So I just went ahead and manually vacuumed in here so I don't have to worry about the Yeedy coming in and waking her up. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down. And slowly we are drowning. As we are moving into the kitchen here, I wanted to remind you guys I do have a Sunday Reset playlist linked down below. If you guys needed some extra motivation today, you can get hours of motivation from that playlist and play one after another. So I'm just getting some Defender oil into my diffuser. I'm going to get my sink cleared out real quick and then I can go ahead and wash my produce. Lost our of my vinegar so I did a quick Google search on other ways that I can wash my produce naturally and baking soda was an option so that's what I used and y'all I could not believe how dirty this water was you guys will have to see because I got footage I just could not believe how much dirt came off the fruit so this may be my new way of washing my produce Say we didn't I was your first love 
last one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed lunchtime and the kids were getting hungry so I decided to pull out my charcuterie board and throw some stuff together for them to have. It's like a thousand degrees outside so I really wasn't trying to heat the kitchen up in the middle of the day so I just put a few chicken and biscuit crackers, some pepperoni, a couple slices of ham that we had. I just broke it into smaller pieces, a variety of fruit and we also had some apple slices left over from a Happy Meal. I added those on there, some cheese and yeah I know I need charcuterie board making practice, but this was literally my first time and I was just throwing it together, but the kids really enjoyed this so much. I found them trying more things, especially my six-year-old. He's my pickiest eater, but he was willing to try more things on the board and I think it's because it was something fun and different so if you have picky eaters, try a charcuterie board and it's also a good way to use up leftover fruit. and my wax warmer needed to be changed so I'm gonna switch that out real quick. It was starting to rain outside so I was feeling a warm cozy scent today um, but by the way this wax warmer is from Walmart. I get a few questions about it sometimes. I think I have it in my Amazon store as well.
like I said earlier, we have been running the Yeedy vacuum, which mops as well. And I love that about the Yeedy, that it mops the house and stays on top of those messes. But I also like to manually mop in between because my kids spill juice. We have a dog that goes in and out, so I don't feel like I have to mop as often with the Yeedy running, but I still like to, just to stay on top of it. Okay, 
so the first thing I'm gonna do is make some pancakes for the freezer I've got my griddle here heating up and this will make a bunch at one time so I can move fairly quickly but I've got a few um, sugar-free chocolate chips there's not many left in this bag but I want to finish it and there's enough in there to make a few these are butterscotch I'm not gonna add those in but we're gonna finish off the chocolate chips and this is the pancake mix that we use you can get it from Sam's Club nothing like a hot fresh pancake reheated pancakes just are not the same but on those busy mornings when you just don't have a lot of time these do come in handy so a lot of times what we'll do is if we're already making pancakes for breakfast we will make a few extra to stick away in the freezer to have on hand Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm pouring and flipping pancakes there's enough time in between that I can clean as I go so I wanted to kind of do the dishes as I went so that I wouldn't be so overwhelmed at the end um, with dishes I didn't have a ton of meal prep to do today all I'm doing is pancakes and some overnight oats but we did have a few dishes in the sink from the night before so yeah you'll see me multitasking with the dishes and the laundry flipping pancakes in between that um, throw in all the laundry in without separating the colors we had just enough in the basket to have one load without separating the colors and sometimes that's what we do if we want to get the laundry caught up without waiting on enough to accumulate to separate it out we'll just go ahead and throw it all in and get it all caught up and so that's what I did today by the way I get a lot of questions lately on my pots and pans they are the Caraway brand and I do always keep a link in my description box for you guys I think you get a discount through that link as well and I earn commission but they have been the best pots and pans ever they're also non-toxic so I just wanted to let you guys know about that they also have several colors to choose from I went with this um, kind of like pinkish color but I kind of wish now that I would have got the white set because the white is so pretty and it'll go with any kind of theme that you have in your kitchen so my pancakes are cooling I got all the dishes washed except the griddle laundry is going and now what I'm about to work on are some overnight oats the boys don't really eat these but I love them Ray loves them, my mom loves them. 
they're just really good I don't even eat oatmeal and I like overnight oats <laughs> so um, I've just got a couple jars here that's what I'm gonna put them in with some screw on lids I think you can get these off Amazon I'll try to link them down below but you can make these as simple or as complicated as you want you can add fruit um, sometimes I like to add banana and chocolate chips it really just depends what kind of flavor you want for your overnight oats so we've got some oats we've got brown sugar if you don't want to add sugar you can also do honey i've got flaxseed chia seed these two things you can't really tell is in there at all so um, i'm gonna add in some greek vanilla yogurt some maple syrup for some extra flavor and of course the milk I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta I'm using a razor here to clean my griddle um, I probably wouldn't do this if it were a brand new griddle this is a really old griddle I really need a new one um, but I think some of the chocolate had got stuck on there and so I'm just scraping that off but this griddle is extremely old it was passed down to me I think back in 2014 or 2015 and it was used then so I really need a new one you can't even see the numbers on the dial so anytime I use it I never know what temperature I have it set on I just kind of have to guess and watch my food how it cooks but yeah I definitely need a new griddle And I almost forgot, but we needed to get some chicken into the crock pot. I'm just using some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm going to let those cook, and we are going to later add in some cream cheese, shredded cheese, and bacon bits. I was also supposed to add ranch powder, but I forgot. plan is to use this chicken mixture when we get it done in crescent rolls and do like chicken roll-ups in the oven. Um, we were going to have it for dinner on this night, but I had my crescent rolls on my grocery pickup that was scheduled for today but it got delayed and so I ended up not getting my grocery order on time and I got it the next morning but you'll see all that later um so what I ended up doing is just eating it like a chicken salad with crackers um for dinner and we also had pizza for dinner so um the next night we did our chicken roll-ups I will show you a clip at the end of the video of what the chicken roll-ups look like when they come together okay so y'all see this hot mess this is our charging station um it's usually full of the kids tablets and stuff 
we just got rice spare in there for now there's a lot of cords that are in the open even though we have them in this basket it's just a hot mess and one of you guys gave us the idea to turn this into the charging station drill some holes in the back and run the cords through there and everything is hidden this is a bread box but we don't actually use it as a bread box so it just sits here more as like a decor piece i guess you could say but we're gonna turn it into the charging station today i've got my drill here i'm just gonna drill some holes in the back i need to do it outside though because i don't want to make a huge mess in here so that's what we're gonna do next i might end up having to move the microwave and the bread box this way so that everything reaches this is the only outlet we have on this wall um so i might have to swap the microwave and the air fryer um just so our cords will reach into the back of the box here but that's what i'm about to work on um and see if we can do something about all of these cords yesterday i told you all right i'm glad i done that outside because i had to do quite a bit of drilling because the biggest drill bit or whatever you want to call it is that right there and that's not quite big enough for our cords to fit through we just need to be able to fit the smallest end through there so I just did them like that they are not perfect at all but as long as we can get the cords through there that's all that matters so um, the next thing I'm gonna do is wipe it out I Oh my gosh, y'all, I love this so much. We don't have that huge eyesore sitting there. Um, it's not very organized, but the cords are hidden in there and we can store the kids' tablets in there and close it up. I love it so much, so thank you. I can't remember who it was who gave us this idea, but thank you, thank you, thank you. What I'm gonna do next, clean our microwave and the air fryer um i found a trick on tiktok for cleaning the air fryer you just put a little bit of dish soap in the air fryer with water and turn it on like normal and let it boil and it eats all of that cooked on stuff off of there so that is what we're going to work on next i just wanted to show you guys really quick how we ended up doing this counter um this was way later but i did get a clip to include in the video we moved the microwave and the bread box to the middle of the counter and put the canisters to the right side that way the cords weren't stretched and they were closer to the outlet but i absolutely love how this came out so i'll actually do this process twice first with soap and then the second time I do it, I'll do just water to kind of clean all of that soap out of there because nobody wants their food to taste like dish soap. This coffee bar runner needed to be changed out. It has old coffee on it and yeah, it just gets grungy over time. So. I'm gonna take this one off, put it into the washing machine, and put a new one on.
so fragile When you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be Be a therapy I wanna be free So Ooh Gotta go and grab a spoon now Ooh Make a life for myself Ooh I don't know what I'm gonna do now Ooh But I don't need your help Get out of my way show y'all that I was running my ice maker on this day I still use this thing and I love it um, it beats using the ice trays any day but I was running a few cycles so that I could fill my bags up I'll do that every so often um, and then when I run out of ice I'll just run it again but I love this machine so much moving into the living room I'm gonna get it picked up really quick and then I need to clean the ceiling fan it's been bugging me so I'm gonna get it clean today um, it's really dusty so brace yourself um we live on a dirt road and i think that's probably part of it there is a lot of dust around here um especially in the south where it gets dry it looks like it hasn't been cleaned in 10 years but this is about six months worth of dust that's collected on this fan so the first thing i'm going to do is use the pillowcase method and go along the blades and collect the big parts of dust um, and then I'll go back in with my Swiffer and get in all those cracks and crevices. I'll go back with um, some Mrs. Myers spray and wipe the blades down really good. Um, I also used a Swiffer on the ceiling because you can see we had a ring <laughs> going around the ceiling. Also another thing, we do need to paint the ceilings in this trailer, um, which is on our to-do list. I just don't know when it's going to happen. And honestly, we need a new ceiling fan as well. Those are all things that are on the to-do list.
Drown yourself in the neon You came to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on But when night in the shadows can ease your broken heart All right, y'all, the chicken is done. Let me zoom out here. So the chicken is done. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is add some cream cheese. Sorry about that noise. I've got my ice maker still going there. But I'm gonna add a block of this cream cheese and some bacon bits. And I've also got some shredded Colby Jack. I'm gonna add in there as well. This is probably maybe a cup of shredded cheese, but we're just gonna add that in and then we're gonna roll it up into crescent rolls and bake them. All right, moving into the bathroom, I'm gonna do just a quick wipe down of the sink area, clean the toilet, and I need to scrub out the bathtub. Um, I'm still waiting on a toilet seat. I ordered one on the grocery pickup a couple weeks ago and if you guys remember the hardware was missing so I had to return it and they've not had any in stock in the store and so when I placed my grocery pickup I was supposed to be getting one but then I got notification that they didn't have it in stock which is what I kind of expected. Um, and so they gave me the option to have one shipped. And so hopefully soon we'll have a toilet seat in here again. if you guys remember I had also ordered a shower caddy I got it but it was missing one of the plastic pieces on the back of the caddy where the command strips stick to it was missing the plastic piece and so I had to also return that as well when I returned it I just went ahead and picked up a new one so I'm gonna get that hung up so that I can put all of my shower products in there because this bathtub is really small there's really nowhere to put products I'm still using my dollar store um, hanging caddy it's working good for my shampoo and conditioner but I have a few other products that need somewhere to go so we are moving outside onto the porch really quick just a few things that I want to get put away on here we had took a beach trip a couple weeks ago actually and I have yet to put all of this stuff away we've got our tent sitting there the kids floats um, so I want to get all of that put away back into the storage container and kind of tidy the porch back up get it looking clean again um, you guys know that I worked really hard on this porch and so I try to keep it clean um, as much as possible so that we can come out here and enjoy it Still need to get the floor mopped. I definitely wanted to get that done tonight. I didn't want to have to do it the next day. So, um, and it's also better for me 
if I do this when the kids go to bed. So this was about the time they were getting ready for bed. And so I took advantage of that time and went ahead and got the floor mopped. Tonight I'm going to be using the steam mop. I really just use whatever I'm in the mood for. Sometimes I like to use the O Cedar Spin Mop. Sometimes I like the steam mop. It really just depends on the mood that I'm in. So the thing about the steam mop that I miss versus the O Cedar, when you use the O Cedar and you're using products, you get scent and I love to have some scent when I am cleaning. It just makes the house smell good and fresh and clean. And so with the steam mop, you don't really get that. And so what I like to do is just put a few drops of essential oil onto my mop pad and I get the scent that I want. I would not put this into the water tank. It might damage your mop, but as far as putting it on to your mop pad, it should be perfectly fine. I've done it for a while now and my steam mop has been fine but if you're wondering i'm using the defender blend by simply earth i do always have a link in my description box where i get all of my essential oils okay guys i'm gonna show you the grocery haul really quick this is a pretty big grocery haul there's a lot of snacks and convenience foods in this haul but this should last us well over two weeks so it's actually the next day i had placed this for yesterday but the order got delayed and it got pretty late in the evening that i just decided that i would go this morning and pick it up so that's what i did first up we got some hamburger buns a loaf of bread um i got us some bagels for an easy breakfast and then to go with the bagels some brown sugar and cinnamon spread um, some crescent rolls that we were going to use for the chicken last night we ended up not being able to because I needed the crescent rolls to complete the meal but um, we'll do those today for lunch so those um, some grapes some bananas this was actually a substitution ordered the parents choice I think it was the Paw Patrol um, and then they substituted with this which is fine because we love pull-ups so I got that um, I'm going back to my Dunkin extra extra I've got to wear I'm adding syrups to my coffee and all kinds of things that it just makes no sense to use sugar-free creamer if I'm adding all that in anyways. And this is my favorite creamer, so whatever. I'm going back to that. Uh, I got some Hershey's International Delight. This is the chocolate caramel. That's my mom's favorite creamer. Some strawberry yogurt, some juice. Um, back here, I got some triple chunk brownie mix um i got some potatoes i ordered the russet potatoes they gave me white potatoes it's fine we'll use them sweet potatoes two things of broccoli um and then to go with the broccoli this cheese i love broccoli and cheese together it's so good some chocolate syrup some granola bars i just got the variety pack of granola bars some fruit and grape bars um Kool-Aid jammers for the kids. I skipped over the chips. Uh, we got some, I don't know what this is. I think it was a substitution. Lightly salted original. Okay, I ordered this, but I didn't get the lightly salted, so they substituted with that. Um, some Cheetos. And then back here, I got a jar of this salsa con queso. We've got a lot of tortilla chips to use. Um, and then I also got a jar of restaurant style salsa chicken strips we love these chicken strips they are the bomb i got six of these mini ravioli things that the kids can heat up themselves homeschool and filming and editing youtube videos is just better for me to have some convenience things like this on hand um for them to have so i got some garlic breadsticks some more of the totino's pizzas five boxes of macaroni and cheese a thing of corn dogs i probably should have got more because my kids can eat more than this in one sitting for an easy breakfast i got us some french toast sticks uh this was a substitution i got the sausage patties but they gave me these links it's fine we'll use them um i got two bags of cereal cinnamon toasters and fruit loops <laughs> um two of these pizza lunchables sliced cheese some more baby bills um and then some fries and Gatorade. Oh, and right here in the front, forgot to show you the non-food stuff. I grabbed some more cleaning sponges, some razors, some of my sugar scrub, and some men's body wash for Kai. 
Oh, and I almost forgot to show you these. I got a bag of these potato chips. It's got the original barbecue, sour cream and onion, and this one is salt and vinegar. So the rest of this video is going to be lots of restocking. I got these cereal containers at TJ Maxx. I'm just going to get those washed up and get the stickers removed, and um, we're going to put their cereal inside of these. I find that the bags, if they don't get closed good, the cereal can get stale. And when the kids are using the bags, they don't close them up good. Sometimes the closures on those bags are kind of hard to get sealed all the way. And so I thought that these containers would be a good alternative. So I'm just going to get those washed up and let those dry. In the meantime, I'm going to put their cereal bars and granola bars and things like that here in this Lazy Susan turn thing. So got this from TJ Maxx as well. But I thought that would be a nice way to organize their cereal bars so they can see exactly what's there. And finally, I'm just getting my shower products into my new caddy. It had to set for 24 hours, and so I can finally put my things in there. And it cleared up a lot of room around the sides of the tub. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are new to my channel every Sunday I post what I call Sunday reset motivation basically I'm resetting the house that includes cleaning motivation usually a grocery haul um, but sometimes I also do meal prep anything to get ready for the week ahead I'm a single mom of three and I don't always have the time to get this stuff done throughout the week so I like to take a day to get as much done as I possibly can so I am starting out with getting some chicken legs into the crock pot for dinner tonight I was trying to think of the easiest thing possible that I knew my kids would eat because they are super picky eaters and barbecue chicken is usually a win and I actually didn't mean to cook as much as I did but how my chicken was packaged it was hard to tell how much was in each pack until it was thawed and so I wasn't about to put it back into the freezer so I just went ahead and cooked it all and we'll just have leftovers. Coming over to the laundry I needed to wash a load of whites we were getting pretty low on clean towels so I wanted to make sure that I got those washed and restock our towels for the week. So 
now that I have the crock pot and laundry going, I can officially get started with the cleaning. I'm gonna start in the kitchen first. I really needed to clean up from lunch, wash the dishes, and kinda reset this area back to zero. By the way, I just did another mobile home makeover very recently. I had actually finished it the day before I filmed this video, so I cannot wait to show you guys. Let me know if you spy it in this video because I think you guys get a little sneak peek as I'm cleaning, but that video will be going up in the next few days, so keep a lookout. And then I'm also going to be starting the master bedroom this week, so I'm excited to get that out as well. I don't know if you guys remember my pink dish gloves but I had used them a few times and ended up putting a hole in them and I just never bothered getting any more until I was in Walmart the other day and I saw these they also have the bristles on them like my pink ones did so I grabbed them and figured I would give them a try because they really help when I wear my press-on nails you all know we do not have a dishwasher so my hands are submerged in water a lot it seems like we're doing dishes 75 times a day not even kidding even when we don't cook, so I'm hoping that these work out. So you guys will have to let me know if you have reset days and what you do on those days as part of your reset routine. I kind of have two different resets that I do. One reset is the kind that you see in this video where I tackle a bunch of cleaning, getting my groceries, etc. And then the other reset is more self-care routine focus. So y'all let me know if you want to see that reset.
into my bathroom, I needed to scrub out the shower tub. If y'all remember, I had painted this bathtub not too long ago, maybe two months now. And I wasn't sure at the time of painting it how it would hold up to actual everyday use because we don't typically use this tub every day and so it was kind of my tester tub. So I've been using it daily and cleaning it and so far it's held up great. I used the Rust-Oleum tub and towel kit to do it which I was unsure of because the tub is plastic. But if y'all remember what this tub looked like before, it was a dingy yellow color, about the same color as the garden tub in the master bathroom. And I really wanted to update it without spending a ton of money, but so far it's worked out great. because I've been taking my showers in here I've been just bringing my towels in here as I need them but I really wanted to have somewhere I could keep a few towels I found this at the Dollar General for $10 and I like that I can hang it up on the wall it's out of the way because this bathroom is super small there's like no room to put anything so I really like that switching my Yeedy from vacuum to mop really quick because I did not feel like mopping today. I had ran the vacuum on it earlier but the mop pad needed to be washed so now that it's all nice and clean I can set that to mop for me and while that runs I'm gonna tackle this living room and get some new blinds hung. Trust the right. 
probably should have done this before I straightened the couch, but our blinds really needed to be replaced. They are just the thin, cheap ones, so they do break easy, but eventually we would like to get some better quality ones, but for now, these will do. And thankfully, I didn't have to replace the brackets, so I just had to pop the new ones in. But while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and clean the window as well. And then it's like one thing led to another. I noticed how dirty it was behind the couch, so I took a minute to get that cleaned up and vacuumed, but I'm sure you guys know how that goes. So it's a little bit later. I needed to pick up a few groceries. We need to eat out of our fridge and freezer this week, so I didn't get a whole lot. We mainly just needed some more fresh fruit, um, some more milk and tea, just, you know, the weekly basics, along with some other staples that we were out of. I needed more loofahs and dry shampoo, and that's pretty much it. I had thought about running into the dollar store and grabbing this stuff, but Having to take three kids into the store, it was definitely worth my gas just to do a Walmart pickup to save my sanity. If y'all remember last week, I washed my produce for the first time using baking soda, and I love it so much more than the vinegar soak that I usually do. I had ran out of my vinegar, and so I tried this instead, and I could not believe the amount of dirt that came off my produce. So if you haven't tried this yet, highly recommend. So we can make it right without a fight. You know, no, no. Imagine what would happen if we did it right. So we can make it right without a fight. You know, no, no. Imagine what would happen if we did it right. So this chicken was done after about four hours on high. I had set it for six, 
but I went ahead and checked it and it was ready so I'm just taking that out of the crock pot I'm gonna coat it with some more barbecue sauce and then we're gonna put that under the broiler for about three to five minutes just long enough to caramelize it and that will be ready we had some salad in the fridge that we needed to eat so we had that and some yellow rice with it Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I have lots of cleaning renovation for you guys. I just had so much to get done. As you guys can see my room is a total disaster as per the usual but really the whole house needed to be gotten in order. We've had a really busy month with it being summer. The boys just finished going to swim twice a week and my oldest is also in piano so I feel like we have been constantly on the go but like I said they have finished their swim lessons and things have settled down a little so um, at least enough to where I feel like I'm catching my breath again so I wanted to take a day to get caught back up I had a couple loads of laundry to fold and put away and it was also time for Palm's bath. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and you get some motivation. Or if you wanted to pop it up on your TV and clean along with me, you could do that as well. I'm getting all of those blankets that you saw me pick up off my bedroom floor into the washer palm sleeps on one of them and I wanted to have it all clean because I will be bathing her later but my kids are also terrible about leaving blankets on the floor so I try to wash them regularly for that reason
let me know in the comments down below are you a morning person or a night owl for me i'm a night owl i'm not a morning person at all and i also love to clean at night when everyone is in bed the house is quiet there's no interruptions I actually get a lot more done at night than I do during the day I feel like and plus you get to wake up the next morning to a freshly clean house but y'all let me know down below are you a morning person or a night owl I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came in way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my I totally should have done this before I cleaned the counter, but while I was cleaning the counter, I noticed how extremely dusty the cabinets were. So I'm just running the Swiffer over those real quick. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Y'all are gonna have to excuse my lighting in this video. It was overcast and rainy out the day that I filmed, but we also had put up some blackout blinds in the windows on the back side of the house where we get a lot of the heat um so with those two things combined my lighting wasn't the best but i'm just stripping the couch covers really quick because they will be up next into the washer you guys know anytime i bathe palm i like to freshen up all the linens that she lays on as well Chills down my spine Said I'm not worthy of your love Well, this is definitely goodbye Oh, it was fun having you around Looking in the rearview mirror My decisions may be clear
share a little fun fact about me and I thought this would be a fun question for you guys to answer as well. So I've always been a dog person. I grew up with dogs my whole life. I was actually attacked by one at the age of five. Um, I had to have stitches on my face where the dog had got me and I've still continued to love dogs. I've never been afraid of them, but when it comes to cats, I am terrified and they've never done a single thing to me to make me terrified of them. I just am, I don't know why but that's the reason I've never had one. However, I am thinking seriously about getting one when I get into my own place so that I can overcome my fear of cats. But you guys let me know down below if you are a dog person or a cat person. my updated home tour you already saw that I brought my iced coffee maker back out I love iced coffee but I can't afford to buy the bottles of it as much as I drink it so um, it is cheaper for me just to buy the coffee grounds and do it myself so I'm just getting that set back up and I go through phases with it like all during the fall and the winter I didn't use it I was on my hot coffee kick but now that it's gotten hot again I've been doing more iced coffee lately Will make 
goes on, it goes on. Life goes on. Go ahead now and get Palm into the bath. Her bath is a two step process. I wash her first with her regular shampoo to get her all clean, and then I have to go back in with a medicated shampoo from the vet that she's on. Um, it does have to sit for about five minutes, so while that's sitting, I'm gonna tidy up the sink area and then she will be ready to rinse. guys I'm gonna go ahead and share the grocery haul with you guys this should last us a good month um, we have a lot of meat in our freezer and we also have a lot of frozen veggies so there's not a lot of produce or meat in this grocery haul it's mainly um, convenience foods breakfast drinks laundry products that kind of stuff so um, let's start right here we got a loaf of bread um, some pizza rolls Kai requested those um, and some more of the Totino's party pizzas. I just like to go ahead and get the four pack box. I got six boxes of mac and cheese. My kids love this stuff for lunch. Some cheese at crackers that we've already got into. That's what's keeping my toddler occupied while I film this grocery haul. Um, I see a lot of people talking about these, so I wanted to try them. I got a strawberry and a peach. I got a bottle of juice, white cranberry strawberry, um, some more milk. This I thought about trying for myself, sleepy time tea. I like to have tea at night, um, but I specifically need something that's going to relax me, so I want to try that. Uh, I've already said milk. Got two bags of cereal, cinnamon toasters, and the Fruit Loops. Got us another box of instant grits, some French toast sticks. Uh, some popcorn and chicken to throw on salad. I got a cucumber um, for the salad. Some more of our favorite chicken strips. I grabbed a couple of these bubble fruit cups. I got the peach, strawberry, lemonade, and sour apple watermelon. I thought that would be kind of fun for the kids. It's got boba in it, so I thought the kids would enjoy those. Um, I got some veggie grillers. I like to have these for lunch. Two more boxes of Pop-Tarts. We usually like to get strawberry and chocolate, but they were out of our strawberry. So I got cherry, uh, some vanilla ice cream. Me and the kids made some cookies the other day and we had enough dough to stick in the freezer. So I thought this would go good with um, our cookies when we heat them up. I got some strawberries, some more Baby Bells, sliced cheese. I got some Lunchables for them, the boys. Favorite are the pizza ones, so I got four of those. And then I figured for Ray, these would be easier for her to eat, the turkey and cheese with crackers. Uh, some more corn dogs, I've got two boxes of those. I like to get the big box, but for whatever reason, my Walmart has not had those lately. So I got two of the smaller boxes, uh, some more of my Dunkin' Creamer, sausage patties, bananas, ketchup, chocolate syrup for Ray's chocolate milk that she is obsessed with. Uh, some more chips. I got the bold mix. This was on sale this week. Can't remember how much they were, um, but I remember they were on sale. That's why I got those. And then back there in the back, there's four cans of ravioli. We tried the microwavable cups of ravioli. You guys may remember in 
my last big grocery haul I shared. I picked up a few of those. My kids didn't like them. They were kind of jelly like I don't know down here I got a box of wipes I went ahead and got the box this time this will last us a pretty good long time some more pull-ups um, we love these rascal and friends pull-ups they're really good um, and they're cheaper I'm crossing my fingers that I won't have to buy pull-ups much longer uh, I got some Gatorades one of them fell out in my car some Sprite um, for the kids some more of my Dr. Pepper Zero and juice boxes. And we also got a case of water, but it was way too much to lug in here. So, um, but that is our grocery haul. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this stuff here in the back, the non-food stuff. I didn't order this, but they gave me a two pack of toothpaste. Um, we'll keep it. I'm not gonna go back for that. Some bleach tablets some scotch guard because I want to decorate the porch for fall. We've got pillow covers that I thought were outdoor, but they're not. So I'm gonna make them outdoor with this scotch guard. Uh, some more baby wash, Lysol laundry sanitizer, um, laundry detergent, and I'm obsessed with Dial bar soap. I always have been. I can remember as a kid sitting in my grandma's bathroom and just being so obsessed with the Dial Bar soap. It smelled so good to me. I haven't had any in a while, so I bought some, but that is everything. I almost forgot to show you guys this. I had it sitting over here on the counter and completely forgot to show you, but um, I got us a bin set to organize the new fridge with. We're going to do that together. I'm hoping that these are going to fit on our shelves they're kind of slim but you get two of those and then two of those so. so we are loving the new refrigerator so far however i think we may have had a little bit more room in the old freezer part of the fridge these drawers don't seem to hold as much so i'm just putting the convenience foods here in the drawer and then the rest i'll stick back in the big freezer and we can just grab it as needed. That's pretty much what we did with the old refrigerator too. We always would keep things in here that were quick options for lunch and then everything else we would put back in the deep freezer. inside of the refrigerator we kind of just threw everything in here the best we could somewhat organizing it so I think those bins are really gonna help instead of having everything just thrown up on the shelves they will have their own compartments and plus I really just want to organize it let's be honest um, I wasn't really able to do this in the old fridge there just wasn't a lot of space not that this one has much more but it does have a little bit more wiggle room One complaint that I have so far is that we have to keep the milk and the tea in the door there's zero room on the shelves for that but it's really not a big deal um, they're kind of out of the way right there so we have more room on the actual shelves so i've just taken everything out of the fridge minus the doors those are about as organized as they're gonna get so um i'm just kind of getting everything sorted into categories on the counter so when i go to organize everything is already together Gonna start over again Too much went down between you and me And I'm feeling pretty good right now So I think I'm gonna let that go All the things that we had I remember what you said uh, Just a one-time thing It won't happen no more Didn't I say you did the wrong thing? Uh, did it for the wrong reasons Kept on going, wrong direction hey. Went into deep at first Take what you need Tryna guess what happens after this I'm moving out Find a place where I can breathe Yeah You show it all Don't want anything to do with you This is my win I don't even care no more, care no more Yeah How did we end 
I bet this place, so much of us going to waste. I wish it didn't have to be like that. Please wake me up. Oh, oh, I know that you can. But does it really matter? Feeling inside out. Not sure where to go. Yeah. Oh. Didn't I say you did the wrong thing? Did it for the wrong reasons. Keep on going, wrong direction. Went into deep at first. Take what you need. Trying to guess what happens after this I'm moving out Find a place where I can breathe Yeah You show it all Don't want anything to do with you This is my win I don't even care no more, care no more Last for you, win for me Last for you, win for me Yeah, last for you, win for me Last for you, last for you Last for you, win for me for me, yeah, that's for you, win for me, that's for you, that's for you, all I can do now is drink, yeah, mm-hmm. cause I don't wanna remember you, oh no, didn't I say you did the wrong thing, did it for the wrong reasons, kept on going, wrong direction, went into deep at first, take what you need, trying to guess what happens after this, I'm moving out, find a place where I can breathe, yeah You show it all, don't want anything to do with you This is my win, I don't even care no more, care no more Last for you, win for me Last for you, win for me, yeah Last for you, win for me Last for you, last for you So this is what the fridge looks like after I've organized it. I really like these. I like that everything kind of has its own compartment and not just thrown up on the shelf. In our old refrigerator, we didn't have room for this kind of stuff. So we kind of had to just throw everything on the shelves and organize it the best we could. But now everything has its own little compartment. Um, this is just like miscellaneous stuff some bacon bits and bread um, just stuff I didn't really know what to do with that and then this is their fruit cups this is all cheese our baby bills that's parmesan some sliced cheese um, so that and then this is all of the kids lunchables and then this is all of their drinks I wish these would stand up but they don't so just laid them down I kept all the juice boxes in the box because there's really nowhere else to put drinks like this is it <laughs> so um this drawer we could put drinks in but it kind of holds our produce perfectly so and i like that we can see our produce at all times but all the produce we got some butter there uh there's really nowhere else for that butter <laughs> so it's going to be stuck in the produce drawer for now some instant mashed potatoes and soy sauce more like miscellaneous stuff got a hello fresh meal there this is Palms, um, farmer's dog food, mine and my mom's sodas that we like, uh, some HelloFresh meat I'm gonna try to cook tonight, sour cream, yogurt, our eggs, uh, this turntable we used to use on the coffee bar, and then I can't remember where else we had it after that. I think we just stored it away and I pulled it out to use when I did the kids' cakes, but um, I thought it would be perfect in the fridge because we can just turn and grab what we need and that is hello fresh um we had a bag bust when we got our order and so that's what that is along with this there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed because baby i got you 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 i've been beaten to the ground dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you We 
have been loving this soft scrub for the sinks. I already scrubbed the one side of the sink before I washed the dishes. So I'm going to scrub out the other side now. There were some brown rings around the drain area that came right out. And then I'm going to replace the sponge with a new one. I try to remember to replace those every week. I don't care. into the living room I needed to do a quick reset in here lots of toys and shoes lying around so I need to get all of that picked up um, but yes we did move one couch over blocking off the kitchen area one of y'all had gave us the idea to turn the couches into an L shape and my mom loved that idea but then she also wants the area walkway going between the stove and the sink blocked off because the kids running through you know when we're trying to cook it just helps to have that blocked off so we don't have traffic going through so that was one reason but then another reason is because we needed room in here for my son's keyboard we have nowhere else for it to go we had to make room somehow and this worked out perfect he's just been having to use it without the stand and set it up wherever was convenient so I'm going to be able to put that stand together today and get that set up for him.
Coming into my room now, I need to get my bed made and some laundry put away. I need to restock the pull-ups and the wipes, but I need to do something different with the pull-ups. I normally keep them in this box, but I want to start a treasure box for the kids, and this was the closest thing we have that looks anything like a treasure box. So I'm moving the pull-ups to one of the bins here on the shelf. That way I can fill their treasure box up. I just went to the Dollar Tree and got a few things that I think they'll like. And every week they can choose something out of the box if they had good behavior, did their schoolwork and their chores. I originally had this in mind for my six year old, but I figured why not include my 11 year old as well. I thought at first that he may not be interested, but I can always add things that he likes as well. And I just grabbed some cutouts from the Dollar Tree. This isn't part of the treasure box, but just something they can do if we're having a craft day or if it's raining outside and we need an activity indoors. I thought this would be fun. So it's the next day and I need to do a complete reset of our porch and patio. Our porch usually isn't this bad with boxes, but we've had several packages over the past week and we just keep throwing the boxes outside and they have piled up quick. So I need to get those broken down and get all of this wood put away left over from my door project in mama's room. If you have not seen that video, I will put a pop up here or have it linked down below. Um, but it turned out really good. So make sure that you check that out. And I have one of my ferns sitting here under the shade. It's been kind of looking a little sad. It's in the sun a lot and I'm sure that's what's wrong because my other one is under the shade and it's been doing great. So I've just been nursing this one back to good health. I'm gonna go ahead and get it hung back up today so I can get it out of the way. you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body the way we're dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling One thing that I did not think through with this patio were the leaves and the maintenance. You can see we've got quite a few leaves here and for a while I wasn't sure what to do about it because this is loose pea gravel and then it dawned on me to get a leaf blower. So I wanted to make sure that my gravel wasn't going to get blown around because like I said it's loose gravel. So I just got a low powered one. The max on it is 90 miles per hour and it's perfect. It's cordless so that's a plus. Um, but this patio is still a work in progress. We would like to add a thicker border around the edges and we've even thought about adding cement to help keep the rocks in place. You can see they've kind of gotten shifted around quite a bit, exposing some of the weed barrier, but um, I think to fix that, we can just add some cement and that will do the trick.
I definitely wanted to put out some mums this year so I just got a couple to set out on either side of the steps and I grabbed some tins from Ollie's. I think they were about four dollars a piece which I thought was a really good price and I'll just set them down in those and they were looking kind of sad but once I gave them some water they perked right up. These are the pillowcases that I want to turn to outdoor pillows. Um, we weren't going to be using them inside this year and buffalo check can be kind of bold and so I thought they would work great on the porch and I just picked up a rug to match. This poly filler we already had as well. I think I got it last year for I can't even remember what but I never used it. It's been sitting in the closet so I'm going to fill each pillowcase full and get those sprayed down with Scotchgard. at it I went ahead and I sprayed the chair cushions as well they are outdoor so they pretty much already repel but I figured it wouldn't hurt and that little pillow on the table I was thinking about using but I couldn't find a place for it so I just didn't I didn't want to overcrowd with too much just wanted it to be very minimal and clean with a little pop of fall Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today I have a whole house clean with me literally hours of cleaning packed into 20 minutes so I hope this gives you lots of motivation I'm getting started with dinner first I had a freezer meal left over back from the summer I wanted to use up it's just honey Dijon chicken it's just two chicken breasts I'm gonna let those cook for a few hours and then we'll shred it up to put on sandwiches so it will be a super easy dinner today I needed to groom my dog she had a vet appointment the next day so I wanted her to be fresh and clean for that she's usually pretty calm for the hair cutting part but she completely freaks out over her toenails so I'm giving her a calming chew before we get started I got these particular ones from Thrive Market and I use them for times like this and when it storms outside she has a full on panic attack so these have been really handy. Chasing 
I groom her I also have to shower and get changed her hair literally gets everywhere and I'm usually covered in it so now that I've got all that done I can get into the rest of the cleaning this was about two days before the storm was to hit we didn't really know what to expect at this point but we ended up not really getting a lot we got more wind than anything but I wanted to have the house clean just in case we lost power I know so many lost their homes and businesses to this storm and my thoughts and prayers are with those I've been seeing posts on Facebook and Instagram and it's completely devastating so if you were affected please know that my thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family so I'm gonna get started in the living room today I had already washed one couch cover I just got that in the dryer so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other on to wash one of my kids had a stomach bug on this day so I was washing and disinfecting everything as much as possible thankfully none of the rest of us got it so at least not yet So like I said, I wanted to disinfect everything today. I'm just using good old disinfecting wipes and wiping down all of the surfaces with that and any other points of contact. Of yesterday. Don't you want to go further away from the fray? Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside Instead of taking the pillow covers off, I'm just spraying those down with microband to hopefully kill any and all germs that are on those. I just really didn't feel like stripping all of the pillow covers, washing those, and getting them back on. So this was a quick fix. Moving into the kitchen now. This was a school day, so I still needed to get cleaned up from that and just kind of straighten up in here, clear up some clutter. I first want to get my diffuser going with Defender Oil. I've mentioned this before, but I love to diffuse this when I'm cleaning, but especially today since I had a sick kid, it's a good blend to diffuse to cleanse the air, so I'm always grabbing for it.
keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what There were a few dishes in the sink but not anything worth making dishwater over so I'm just going to leave those and straighten up a little over here a few things needed to go back to the pantry I don't know why my camera shakes like this sometimes but I've noticed it doing it here and there and I don't really know what is causing it it drives me crazy when I go back to edit and I see it but thankfully it's only on this part we had some pizza boxes of different drinks taking up floor space in the pantry so I'm gonna get all of those into the refrigerator so we could get rid of the boxes and clear up some space in there my ice maker going as well I can usually only keep one bag at the time due to space but we still have our old refrigerator in the corner plugged up so I'm just gonna use the freezer to store extra ice in in case we need it during the storm we do have someone interested in the old one they just haven't came and got it yet so it's just been sitting in the corner of the kitchen it still works great it just has a leak that we aren't really sure how to fix I'm not sure that it can be fixed because it is resting on the inside However, we have found a family in need of one that we will be giving it to, so we are just waiting on them to come and get it. I was also trying to get all of the laundry caught up today, so if we did lose power, all of our clothes and towels will be clean and we're not behind on laundry with no power. Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clouds I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue While all of the kids are occupied, I wanted to quickly vacuum and mop so I could have that out of the way.
using the steam mop today. It's always my go-to when I really want to disinfect and of course just adding a few drops of Defender to the mop pad as well. go out to the patio really quick and stack the chairs and the table up against the house with the storm coming I knew they would blow around the table probably would have been okay but I didn't want to take any chances of it getting broken it sits right under the tree so I was more concerned with limbs We are just moving into the bathrooms. I wanted to do a quick clean in both the master and the guest. Just make sure the bathtubs and the toilets are clean. Clear up any clutter sitting out and do a quick wipe of the sink areas.
have this bag of toilet paper sitting out in here and really honestly we have nowhere else to store toilet paper so I thought I might as well at least make it pretty with a basket I do wish we had a bigger one but I'm just using a spare one that we have for now starting out with a pretty big mess here the kids had a sleepover over the weekend and this was the aftermath and so um, just a few hours after the kids had all gone home actually and so I'm gonna start by getting all of this cleaned up I really want to do a major deep clean of the living room tonight so the couch covers are coming off I'm gonna clean under the furniture and I'm also going to declutter the toys and the shoe basket because both of those are getting a little out of hand but baby it's another lay remember you want me i try to lay work work but it doesn't work i try to say something but there's a word i try to just This is the basket that we keep right by the front door. It's where everyone's shoes go, at least the ones that we wear on a regular basis. But there's some the kids have outgrown and some that just don't get worn anymore that need to go to Goodwill. Um, I do wish we had a little more room for a better shoe organization method, but for now, this is working. I'm probably going to do a more in-depth clean out of these toys before the holidays officially hit, but for now, I just want to go through and get all the junk toys out. They're so small, but they take up a lot of space because my kids have so much of them. When I say junk toys, though, I mean Happy Meal gadgets, things that are broken. Um, I feel like they can see more of the toys. They really enjoy to play with when all of that's cleaned out and like I said I'm probably gonna do a more in-depth clean out 
um, soon because all of my kids birthdays are right before and after Christmas and so it's like they're getting toys for about six months straight for a while. Oldest is getting to the age where he's not really into toys anymore which makes me sad to be honest but my younger two definitely still enjoy them. As you can see, I found even more toys under the couch, most of them junk, some clothing items, and lots of popcorn. They had made a pallet on the floor and had a movie night for the sleepover, and so we had popcorn for days. <laughs> I usually ask this every year and I know I have a lot of new subscribers but when do you guys decorate for fall let me know in the comments down below I usually get a head start and decorate in August but I don't know I just I feel like I've been stuck in summer this year although I am ready for cooler weather it's been a really hot summer um, and especially now that I have my fall decor up I'm getting more and more excited for it but honestly I can't believe how fast the year has gone by it feels like I just took fall decor down and now here we are putting it back up <laughs> pretty much got my living room clean. I'm going to do a quick clean here in the kitchen, wash up the dishes, wipe down the counters, and light a candle. That's another thing that I've missed. I don't usually burn candles in the summer because it's just honestly too dang hot. It's a struggle to keep the house cool in those super hot months, and so I don't even burn candles. It just adds to the heat, <laughs> and so I've, I've missed burning those. Um, I do like to run my diffuser a lot too, and that's usually what I do, but I also really like a good candle.
got this candle from Walmart. I've always loved their candles. They're my favorite. But I will say they have really stepped up their candle game. They look just like the candles from Bath & Body Works. They smell just as good and they're a fraction of the price. And so I've really been fighting the urge to go buy more. You can see Pom Pom needed some love. She thinks anytime I sit down, she's got to come sit in my lap. She's a really, really loving dog. Um, she's probably the most loving dog that I've ever had. I've had her since before I had any of my kids and my oldest is 11. So she's been with me for a really long time. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. I can take this anymore. You say we're done. show y'all this vacuum cleaner I know some people like to see this um, this is not all from tonight but a lot of it certainly is so I'm gonna get that emptied I need to mop and that will be all of the cleaning that I do for tonight and then I'll pick the camera back up tomorrow and continue on with a little more cleaning and then some fall decorating guys new day and we're in my bedroom stripping down my bed sheets I really wanted to get those washed today um, and I've got a little bit of laundry to put away as well
kind of random but I had to get it done and I figured I might as well include it but I've had my makeup here on my desk for a while now I love to come in here and sit while I do my makeup just take my time getting ready when I'm able but if you don't know I do share a room with my children temporarily and Ray my toddler has been getting into my makeup while she's supposed to be down for a nap she's done it about four times now she's ruined a couple of eyeshadow palettes um, and she's also coated her face in 24 hour wear lipstick and <laughs> honestly I'm just over it and so I'm taking my makeup out but because I like to come in here and sit and take my time doing my makeup I still want to be able to do that and so I grabbed a caboodle box to put everything in um, I like this because it's got a mirror and all of my makeup fits so honestly I can really do my makeup anywhere now I kind of like this much better anyways so I know these boxes were a big thing in the 90s so there's a bit of nostalgia there too but if I can remember I will put an Amazon link down below for y'all all right so I'm gonna change out my diffuser really quick there's nothing wrong with this old one I just wanted a new one I just grabbed one from Amazon it's basically the knockoff of the Aria diffuser but I will have it linked down below as well. And I'm just adding a few drops each of blood orange and cinnamon. So I can officially start decorating now. These two totes are pretty much full of fall decor. Some Halloween in there too. But I'm going to wait on that. And I told myself I was not going to buy a single piece of decor this year. And I'm not. I'm using what I have I think sometimes we can feel pressured to go out and buy all new decor every year and while it's fun to do that and I get bored with my decor sometimes and need to change it up it's also perfectly fine to use what you have and get creative with the different ways that you can use it um, I ended up doing a lot of the same things that I did last year except this year I kept it a little bit more minimal sometimes I feel like I have to use every single piece of decor I have when that's not true so this year I just decorated with the things that I really really love and that took a lot of the stress out because I wasn't sitting there trying to force things that I really didn't love if that makes any sense but I'm also doing the same with Christmas I don't plan to buy a single piece of decor I'm just gonna use what I have I actually bought a lot of new stuff last year and usually when I do that I like to use it a few times before I get new stuff and so It'll last a little while.
to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. This wreath that we have hanging here is a little more on the springy side, and so I decided to add some fall stems to it. I had this fall stem piece from Hobby Lobby, I think I got it last year. Um, and I wasn't going to use it this year for anything and so I just broke it down and poked it here and there throughout the wreath and turned it into a fall wreath. When the season's over, I can just remove all of the stems and it'll be a spring wreath again. show you an overview really quick of how all the decor came out like I said super minimal I do still need to do something with this couch we've got some pillow covers but I need to go dig the extra pillows out because right now we've got them vacuum sealed in the storage closet so I'll have to deal with that another day I was just too tired today Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some whole house cleaning motivation with you guys. I am starting in my room. This was the main area that really needed some attention and I was trying to hurry and get this part done because it was coming up on nap time for my toddler. You can see there's laundry everywhere. All of it's clean. It just needs to be put away. So I'm going to get that corralled into one spot, get my bed made really quickly, and then get all of that put away. Don't 
also gonna go around and declutter some areas. That's the number one thing that drives me the craziest, especially here on my desk because it's the catch-all space of my room and it gets cluttered so quick. So I'm gonna take a minute to clear that off and anything else in my room. And then I need to go around and just wipe everything down. I also would like to vacuum and mop in here just to freshen it up and have everything smelling good. Ray's bed sheet the other day and I still haven't put it on so I'm gonna change that out it's kind of wrinkly because it's been wadded up in a laundry basket but it is clean so it's all good and then uh, once her comforter is washed I'll get it back on there I wanted to run that through the washer real quick her bed is the one I have to wash most often seems like we started a bad habit of taking a cup to bed and so I'm currently trying to break that and only allow her to have water shoes that you saw me take out of the box and set on my bed are brand new shoes they haven't been worn so no worries if you saw my vlog on Friday I took the kids to get all new shoes for the season I probably still need to get them all a pair of boots but for now I just got them a decent pair of tennis shoes they've been wearing Crocs and flip-flops all summer and they've outgrown all of their winter shoes from last year so they were due for some new ones I'm adding a few drops of the Defender Blend oil from Simply Earth. This is one of my favorite oils to diffuse when I'm cleaning. Not only does it smell good, but it also purifies the air, so that's why I really like it when I'm cleaning. know that I've been adding gang detergent to my mop water but I tried something new today and I thought what if I added gain scent beads to it as well so I just added in a tiny little scoop not a lot but it smelled so amazing in here when I was done so I think I'm gonna start doing that from now on Are moving into the kitchen now this is what our table looks like after school it's usually a lot worse than this this is one of the better days um, so I just need to get everything put away for the day and I know a lot of you are interested in more homeschooling videos so I do plan to incorporate more of those so if you're interested in any of that make sure that you are subscribed where have you been 
It's like I waited all my life So happy that I found you I'm paper thin I haven't always been this shy But haven't felt this in a while now So sad when we are apart If you leave, you break my heart I need you To need me too Stay with me when it's getting Okay, so I have a question for you guys. I've always wet my cleaning rag anytime I'm cleaning in the kitchen. Even if I'm using a spray cleaner, I always use a wet rag to wipe with. So I've seen many people using dry rags or paper towels and just using the cleaner. And so I tried that method today on the kitchen table and I don't feel like it got near as clean and I had to use double or triple the amount of product so let me know what you do wet or a dry rag now if i'm cleaning in the living room or somewhere like that i will use a dry rag um, just because i'm mainly dusting anyways but i've always used a wet rag in the kitchen let me know your thoughts in the comments So you guys may remember in my last Sunday Reset video, I did a deep clean of the refrigerator and I mentioned in that video that we may be getting a new one because this one is now rusting and leaking. Well, it's happening. We are getting a new fridge. It's been ordered and it should be here the day that you're watching this actually. So we are really excited about it, but we're also nervous because like I had mentioned, in that video all you hear are horror stories about the new appliances so we'll see um this fridge has been with us for a really long time but unfortunately it's time for a new one Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. I got you wrapped around my finger. But don't Moving on to this disaster of a living room I really hate to say it but this is what it looks like most days with a toddler she loves her toys which makes me happy but I'm also teaching her to clean up behind herself 
it's just a work in progress she loves to clean and she takes a lot of pride in it when she does it however on this day she was down for a nap while I was getting all this clean and done so I'm just going ahead and getting it all picked up this one couch cover had some juice spilled on it so I'm taking it off so that it can be washed a lot of you have told me that our couches look better without the covers and I can totally see what you mean but these covers serve a lot of protection for our couches since we do have pets and kids I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof I know your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you We keep most of our books on a bookshelf in the bedroom, but I do like to put out some seasonal books here in the living room for the kids to pick up and look at or read just whenever they want to. There's one book in this stack that Kane loves for me to read to him. We've read it I don't know how many times already this year, but he loves it. We are in the bathroom now, and I really just want to do a quick wipe of the sink area get all of the toothpaste up, give the mirror a quick wipe, just the usual weekly clean in here. A lot of you have been asking about the bathtub and how it's held up since I painted it and so far we've had no problems yet. It's only been a few months but we do use it daily and you guys have seen me clean it regularly so so far it's holding up. I just wanted to give a quick update on that since I had a lot of you asking.
gonna take some Clorox wipes to the floor here around the toilet and call it good. To the good days, this to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late. Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's just one glass in. You're already on my mind when it gets late. It's about one in the morning. else I'm doing on this reset y'all excuse the dishes in the sink I still gotta get this done but I pulled out all of the little um, pizza bottle things out of our little like cleaning cabinet that we have all of our cleaner products in we've got a lot of like bottles that are just about empty also got this little bit of Mrs. Myers left it's a springy scent and so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that so I can get out the fall stuff like just a little bit in every bottle. So I'm gonna do my best to get them cleaned up. There is pretty good bit still left in this one, but if I run out of others, I'll start on that one. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. I'm gonna go ahead now and start pulling everything from the fridge I'm gonna chunk what's expired um, there were also some things that we had just a little bit of but they were in large containers taking up space and so I transferred those to smaller containers um, y'all let me know in the comments down below 
how often you clean your fridge. We usually do a basic clean out weekly where we use up leftovers or throw out things that went bad, but we do try our best not to waste food. A lot of times if we think something is gonna go bad before we use it, we will go ahead and stick it in the freezer. But as far as a deep clean like I'm doing today, it can be a few months in between before it actually gets done. I used the Dawn Power Wash to give it a good wipe and it worked really well and also left it smelling really good. showing you guys a close-up of these door shelves some of that is just stains that won't come out because this fridge is incredibly old um, but a lot of it I was able to wipe out side note we're probably gonna have to end up getting a new fridge soon this one is starting to rust a little on the inside and so we've been having some leaking going on but this fridge has lasted a really long time there's just something about the old appliances that work better I think they were just made of a better quality back in the day. It seems like now all you hear about with the new is how it tears up so quickly. So I don't know, y'all let me know in the comments down below if you prefer old or new appliances. We've actually had this discussion before about washers and dryers and a lot of you said that you prefer the old washers and dryers. Our washer and dryer both are old, um, but we've had the new before and they ended up tearing up on us and so we just prefer the old ones so y'all let me know your thoughts down below some water left in my tea kettle from earlier so I'm just gonna pour that out and let the kettle air dry I try to remember to do this every night so 
that the kettle is ready for the next day. I like to use this a lot for the kids oatmeal and also instant grits. I'm going to take all of this chocolate and transfer it into jars. I like to do this versus keeping them in the bags because we never use a whole bag at one time. And so this way we don't have to worry about keeping the bags sealed up between uses. We can just use what we need and close the jar back up. So I will just write on the top of the lids what kind of chocolate it is and so we will know when we go to use them. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up. In this Lazy Susan, I keep their um, granola bars, cereal bars, basically anything grab and go breakfast wise. I like this because it's super easy to just grab what they want. I try not to feed my kids this kind of stuff every morning for breakfast but it is nice um, to have some easy self-serve things that they can grab when needed. Sometimes they wake up super early and as soon as they wake up, especially my toddler, they are starving. So this helps me because they can grab them something while mama has her coffee. And something I've started doing with my first grader is rewarding him with candy every time he learns a new set of sight words and spelling words. This gives him a little incentive. So I'm just combining all of the candy here into one jar and every week that he learns a new set he can come and pick out a couple of pieces of candy which is a really big deal to him because he doesn't just get to have candy any day anytime so for the overnight oats i'm keeping it really simple i'm just going to do one jar this time my daughter is really the only one out of the kids that eats these and so these will last for a couple of mornings i usually will give her a scoop of this with some kind of fruit and that's her breakfast um, today i just added in the usual chia and flaxseed you really can't tell that those two things are in there. A spoonful of the vanilla granola butter and some maple syrup, but you can add anything that you want. It really just depends what the kind of flavor is that you're going for. I forgot to say this last time that I made them on camera. I got some questions about how to eat them. So I like to eat them cold out of the refrigerator, but some people like to reheat. So you could do that in the microwave if you prefer your oatmeal warm. And I know they're called overnight oats, but I find that they are ready somewhere within four to six hours of sitting in the fridge. So if you make overnight oats, what's your favorite things to add? I'm always looking for new ideas. getting late I was running out of steam because I started cleaning the stove and I forgot to hit record 
So I was just showing you really quick what I was doing. Um, if you have a glass top and you want it to shine, I highly recommend um, Wyman's cooktop or even Barkeeper's Friend. I've used Barkeeper's Friend before too and that works really great. Anything like that is what will keep your stove top looking new. Okay guys, so it is about 1 in the morning. We are at 12.52 a.m. and I think I'm gonna call it a night, but stay tuned because I'm gonna pick the camera back up tomorrow and we will continue this Sunday reset. I still need to get the kids' bathroom um, deep cleaned. I would also like to declutter in there, kind of go through our rack that's in there and declutter some products but I do feel like I got a pretty good bit done tonight the fridge looks so good I feel like cleaning out the fridge took up most of the time but it's all done and it looks so much better I still need to prep strawberries and I also still want to meal prep the egg roll in a bowl I'll probably do some sweet potatoes with that but anyways I will pick the camera back up tomorrow so I'll see you guys then good night still been soaking my strawberries in water and baking soda and I just let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I will rinse and then I like to go ahead and have mine cut up for the week. I store them in glass jars. I find that they last longer in the jars versus the plastic. I'm not sure what the reasoning is but it works so I've stuck with it. Also, I got up this morning before my toddler did. She was sleeping in, and so I was able to get some more stuff done. I just picked up where I left off last night, and I was even able to get a shower. So I really like when that happens. It makes for a really good day when I can have a bit of time to myself before taking care of other humans. I put our new towels away I wanted to go through our current stash and pull out all the ones with holes or that were super thin like I said we will use towels until there's literally nothing left of them and so it was definitely time to do this thinking about lunch for the week for my mom and I and we really enjoy egg roll in a bowl I think it's one of the easiest things that you can make it's a roll of ground sausage and a bag of coleslaw mix I usually will add in some garlic and onion powder salt and pepper 
um, just be a little light on the salt if you're going to use soy sauce. Um, I've found that even the low sodium soy sauce can be a little salty, so just be careful with the salt. Um, but today I will replace the soy sauce with the coconut aminos. So we'll be able to have this for a couple days for lunch and I've also got some sweet potatoes I need to do something with as well. They were starting to look a little questionable so I decided to roast those up and we can have them during the week with our lunch or just as a side to go with our dinner. getting ready to wash up the dishes I noticed our bottle was low on detergent so I'm gonna refill that really quick if you're a fan of the Mrs. Myers dish soaps I recommend buying the refill jugs they are a little bit cheaper than buying the individual bottles and we just keep refilling our glass dispenser The last thing we're going to do is clean and declutter this bathroom. I'm starting with the rugs. I'm going to toss those into the washer and then spray down the tub so it can sit while I clean the rest of the bathroom.
thing I want to work on is this shelf. This bathroom has no storage besides under the sink area. And so this holds a lot of the things that we use on a daily basis. But there's also a lot on here that we don't use anymore and that just needs to be gotten rid of or tossed. There's like a couple of old Bath & Body Works false scented lotions from a couple of years ago that I had bought and I had to toss. I love the scents but they were just a little bit too strong and they gave me a headache so I just never used them. wanted to take some Clorox wipes here around the toilet. I'm also going to steam mop, but I wanted to get in those areas the steam mop can't fit and disinfect this area. I really hope that Alright guys, that is going to complete this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Like I said, I will be back next week with fresh new content for you guys. I hope that you have a great day. And if you happen to still be watching right now, remember to leave a butterfly in the comments down below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.